right? You all know this is your favorite panel at this con, right? The more you, the louder you are, the more they'll invite us back to do these. Sugar show last night? Yeah. Right. So expect voices to be a little hoarse as you can hear it, so no booing. Alright, you know what's going on. Uh, you know these shows are going to be online. Check out Twisted Tunes on YouTube. That also helps get these shows, more of them, and get them posted so you guys can see them. Alright, let's do one warm up. We're going to show everyone how loud you guys can really be. Louder than that Captain America guy, right? <laughs> three, and then you guys are going to go mental, and then we're going to bring everybody up. Alright, ready? One, two, You know him and love him is the brain.
Salt Lake City, you kick ass. Thank you for that. This guy blinked. Can we do it again? This guy blinked. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, can you guys hear me right now? Yeah! Dude, I swear to you, this has been like a three-day birthday party for all of us, thanks to you guys. Thank you so much. We're all moving to Salt Lake City, you know that, right? Yeah! Can I just ask you to make one tiny adjustment? Anything. Uh, I, uh, I, uh, Don Adams, the great Don Adams, was the original inspector. Yeah. Yeah. I, was the, I was the second chief, and Don passed the character down onto me uh, for later uh, seasons. But Don was the original inspector. Yeah. So. Yeah. No, <laughs> no. Hey, wait a minute. Where's Josh? Is he here? Hey, Josh. I just wanted to make sure that if you weren't here, we were walking. Yeah. We love you, Josh. And this is so Barb is here, too, right? Barb, I saw you walk by. All right, she's over there. Just making sure. Do you guys seriously understand that we do so many of these things that you guys are our favorite? <laughs> YouTube, but it's true, they're our favorite. I can't see the freaking rabbit today. Take that, San Diego! Of course she's here, dude. She's haunting my dreams. Sound like I have no voice at all, there's nothing left, so I'm gonna do my best, but if I'm hoarse, forgive me. <laughs> I don't know about your couch, but with that rabbit, all I heard was a lot of excuses, man. It's not a lot of <laughs> Alright, are you guys ready? You know you're here for Harry Potter, right? <laughs> I just want you to know you can't say it, but you can, alright? This last column here is blank. That column gets filled in by your response. The best voices, the best response, gets put in for the last few scenes. So, audience participation. All right, here we go. Scene one, Harry Potter 2, The Chamber of Secrets. It is going to be narrated, we're gonna just kick your ass right out of the gates here. Narrated by Peter Falk, known as Columbo, to you guys. Uncle Vernon, Rob, yeah. Dr. Scratches. <laughs> okay, I can do that. Hi, everybody, I'm here for you. As Harry D. How about Klaus from American Dad? Lucky Scala. All right, as Aunt Petunia. Tress, we want to bring the cat lady right away. <laughs> As Dudley, Mo, you're on double duty here. Yeah, I said it. Uh, you're Morbo. Morbo is deep. As Dobby, Jess, we're going to bring Carmen right to the party. <laughs> We have one line, by the way, we are going to abuse Dee Baker up here in the good way, quiet. He is going to do all kinds of crazy sounds for you guys. So, you are going to be Perry the Platypus. So when I make sounds, sometimes there's words, sometimes there aren't, just roll with it. Watch, watch the signers for extra entertainment when I make sounds. <laughs> all right, whenever you're ready, guys.
He stops on a moving photo of Ron and Hermione. Squawk. Harry John. Actually, you know what? Hey, little squawk. That was fantastic. Unbelievable. Harry jumps. Hedwig picks at the lock. Oh, I can't, Hedwig. I'm not allowed to use my magic outside the shula. <laughs> Besides, if Uncle Vernon... Secret messages to your freaky little friends? No, mein Führer! No! <laughs> but Lieschen, I haven't gotten any messages from any of my friends. Uh, not one friend. Or Summer is so traurig, no? <laughs> Who would want to be friends with you? I should. I? You're a very handsome fellow. <laughs> I should think you'd be more grateful. We raised you since you were a baby, give you food off our table, even that you have done the second bedroom outside of the water tower. Purely out of the goodness from our hearts. strange. <laughs> we should be any moment now. Let's run through our schedule one more time, Petunia. When the Masons get here, you will be... In the lounge with the kitties! <laughs> welcome, waiting to welcome the gracious that you are home. <laughs> yeah, very nice. Uh, <laughs> ah, und Dudley? Excellent. Um, and um, you? <laughs> yes, I will be in my room making no noise. I wish you came 
subtitles, little creature. <laughs> as to the meaning of where you're going and we'll shake your head if I miss it. You can't have met any many decent wizards then. Bobby shakes his head then without warning, leaps off the bed and starts to bang his head furiously on the floor. I'm banging my head, dude. <laughs> Not to worry, I'll sort it out. 
get curious, Harry and Petra, still during the day. <laughs> Harry rushes the lamp away from Dobby. Uncle Bernie goes upstairs. Stop. Stop. What the devil are you doing in here? You've just ruined a priceless Steinway. No, you've ruined the punchline of my Japanese golfer joke. <laughs> and you'll wish you'd never been born, boy. <laughs> why I've got to go back, Dobby. I don't belong here. I belong in your world at Hogwarts. It's the only place that I have friends. <laughs> friends who don't even write to Harry Potter? Well, I expect they've been... Hang on, how do you know my friends haven't been writing me? Well, well, guiltily, Dobby takes out a stack of letters is what he does. <laughs> Well, you see, Harry and Potter, he mustn't be angry with Dobby. Dobby hoped if Harry Potter thought his friends had forgotten him, Harry Potter might not want to go back to school next time. <laughs> Give me those now. Okay, you're in the hallway stairs last kitchen. <laughs> Dobby dashes out the door, right? Into the kitchen, waving his arm. Appetit is masterpiece, and the pudding rises like it is. All right, blah, blah. They're close to the living room. Hands. Dobby, please, no! Harry Potter must say he's not going back to school! I can't! Hogwarts is my home! Then Dobby was doing stuff while Harry Potter's a <laughs> If I could reach you, I would hurt you. <laughs> So Dobby snaps his fingers, right? The pudding plummets straight on to Mrs. Mason. <laughs> they exit, all right? They leave. Uncle Vernon and Aunt Petunia race after them. There's a sight. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's our nephew. He's very disturbed. We think the strangers upset him. So we kept him upstairs. <laughs> Captain Rex is going to narrow it. Captain Rex, do you hear? 
All right, we are gonna have Mr. Weasley, Maurice, as Foghorn Leghorn. <laughs> Scene, we're bringing the Animaniacs. As Ron will be Yakko Rob. As Harry Jess will be Wacko. And of course, Mrs. Weasley will be the cute one. Alright, now, let's see, Ginny has one line, D, so we're just gonna, how about, can you be a squirrel? A squirrel? A squirrel. Yeah. Ginny is now a squirrel. <laughs> we have three cards left. Jess, you feeling up to doing the Beatles? Yeah, uh, as, as Fred, you will be Paul McCartney. <laughs> as Percy, you will be John Lennon. George, guess who you're going to be? Ringo. George. <laughs> All right, whenever you guys are ready. All right. Troops, listen up. <laughs> Exterior, the burrow. Early morning. The boys rescue Harry. The car touches Dan in a whirling cone of dust. <laughs> it is quite exciting, isn't it? He scatters a group of chickens. Fish tails to a halt. Hello, Harry. <laughs> Happy birthday. Oh, hurry, mates. Let's sleep it's night before Mum wakes up. Well, it's not much, and it smells like a New Delhi bus, but it's home. But I think it's brilliant. <laughs> Oh, 
did you now? Uh, I, I say, how'd it go? I mean, I mean, uh, that was very wrong, boys. Very wrong indeed. Uh, so, Harry, you must know all about muggles. Tell me, what exactly is the function of a rubber duck? Oh, what did you like to do? <laughs> Harry notices an owl, Harold, soaring toward the kitchen window. The owl doesn't pull up. It just flies smack into the glass. Let's see. 
So, Jude, come with me then. Everybody, you know, has been like really worried. They run to Flourish and Blotz to see Gilderoy Lockhart. Oh, Harry, we hope you're gonna go on a bitch of It was 
nothing more than a murderer. Blah, blah, blah. You must be very brave to mention his name or foolish. Because, <laughs> you know, fear of a name only increases fear of the thing itself. And you must be Miss Granger. Dracos told me all about you and your parents. Muggles, aren't they? What do you see? Red hair, vacant expressions, tattered second-hand look. You must be the Weasleys. Children! It's mad in here. Let's go outside. For those of you young folks out there decided that who decided whether or not to be an actor, that's called patting your part. <laughs> and as, I, I, as, as you may recall, it goes like this. It goes, well, well, well. <laughs> I've got a December gig. <laughs> Ron and Harry. Harry leans into his trolley and crash! 
hitch the barrier, and march it back into Ron. <laughs> Which roughly translates as, what in places do you two think you're doing? I'm sorry. I lost control of the drama. Why? Can't we get through? I don't know. The camera had seen this set for some reason. Exactly what I want. We missed it. Harry, if we can't get through, maybe mom and dad can get back in time to rescue Sarah Connor. <laughs> uh, maybe we should go wait by the car. The car, get down! <laughs> Ron, I should tell you, most models are not accustomed to see fly car. on the turtle com and the dashboard and they boom, disappear. Then all of a sudden, boom, the car reappears. Ron jabs at the silver button. Oh no, the invisibility booster must be faulty like my governorship of California. <laughs> They park the car in a tree then, and then nearly destroys it. They get caught. Now they're headed to Snape's office. On with the story. Why, you car sorry varmints? You will see by no less than seven bubbles. <laughs> oh, it's bubbles.
What are you going to expel us? Are you? As Harry and Ron enter, Seamus, Neville, and other Gryffindors hover nearby. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the tree. Second years. Now gather around. Today we will be repotting mandrakes. And now, who here can tell me? <laughs> yes, Mrs. Granger. In many ways, you never listen to your father again. Life under the sea is better than anything they got up there. <laughs> Mandrake or Mandragora is used to return them who got been petrified to his original state. And it's also quite dangerous. The Mandrake's cry is fatal to anyone who hears it. <laughs> brother who said that. Thank you. Excellent. I've got ten points for Gryffindor and I have Mandrakes. Are on the ceiling. Ceiling. Their cries won't kill you yet. Didn't say I was good. Didn't say I was good. <laughs> but they will knock you out. And for several hours. Which is why, why I have <laughs> given each of you a pair of ears. Buttons, 
wasn't in neglecting his <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> Which is bird speak for no ma'am, he's just fainted. Come now. Too late. Keep on. There are plenty of pots to go around. Wait, 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 wait. Oh. Rasp your mandrake. Pull it out. Alright, I 
think that's everyone. There's a lot of people in this scene. You guys ready? Yeah. Yeah. Ready? Mm-hmm. When you're ready. Lockhart flings open the cage. Instantly, 
Jeff. Hagrid. Bill Cosby. Oh. Dude, Hagrid doesn't even make potions. <laughs> Mr. Cosby, there's a girl who ever just learned how to spell low hypnol. <laughs> Pretty impressive, really. You know what? Tress is, is Gilderoy. There was such a big applause. I want I want Babs back again. And uh, and Mo, as Hermione, how about Calculon? <laughs>
that disorients you when that happens, doesn't it? You see, well, it's God's wallet to boot, dirty blood. On to the point, think of a spell that our Hermione can't do. Don't you think of it, Hermione? Don't you think of it for a minute? Come over here and have a drink. Lockhart's office evening, several hours later. Harry and Lockhart work by candlelight. Harry addresses envelopes. While Cheery Lockhart puts his signature to the stack of glossy photos. Harry, Harry, Harry. Can you possibly imagine a better way to serve detention than by helping me answer my fan mail? <laughs> not, not really. Well, you know, fame's a fickle friend, Harry. Celebrity is as celebrity does. Try to remember that. Come, come to me. Hey, what? I'm sorry, coming in. That 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 voice. I'm sorry, that voice. That voice. Didn't you hear that? Oh, what? What? What are you talking about, Harry? Getting a bit drowsy is what I think. Great Scott, it's no wonder. Would you look at the time? We've been here nearly four hours. Oh, it's spooky how the time flies when one is having fun. Just one. Spooky? And see. Next, the Star Wars. As the voice in this scene, Jess, we can't be complete until Captain Hero makes an appearance. Tress, mom from Futurama. <laughs> As Draco, D, uh, just make some cow sounds now. <laughs> <laughs> As Filch, oh, Jess, you haven't done Secret Squirrel yet. <laughs> Filch is Secret Squirrel. <laughs> As Dumbledore, Mo, we're going to bring Shatner back. We didn't have enough. Snape, Rob, how about Jack Nicholson? <laughs> All right, as, let's see, we're gonna do an audience vote. Because there's someone, D does two voices and fairly odd parents we haven't heard yet. All right, now listen, the choices are gonna be Elmer and Sanjay, or Sanjay, shut up. All right, I'm gonna say them both, use audience applause if you want to hear Elmer. If you want to hear Sanjay, fairly obvious which one that one will be. Sanjay is Hermione. And Maurice is Gilderoy. How about Mr. Freeze? And now we're ready. Interior corridor. Night. Moments later. Harry passes quickly through the lengthening shadows of the empty corridor, when... Blood. I smell blood. And a 12-year-old girl and a donkey. <laughs> Let me rip you. Let me kill you. Filch's cat! 
Mrs. Norris. Sadly, the cat hangs stiffly by her tail. Ah! Torch bracket, eyes open and blank. Thank you, 
Genesis. Um, as many of you were, yesterday you were at the Animaniacs panel, which was pretty full. You guys filled that joint up, right? So I want to really take this opportunity to not only thank you very much, and again, uh, from all of us, you have been so incredibly, crazily, beautifully, wonderfully kind to us. We are crazy about all things Salt Lake City. Thank you so much. Mission by Warner Brothers and Steven Spielberg to do Animaniacs music with symphony orchestras around the country. So, yeah. and we've even got room for a couple of Pinky the Brain things. So, if you guys, while I've got this fabulously wonderful captive audience, you guys go ahead and get a hold of the Utah Symphony. They've already been talking about it to us, and we will come back and do a two hour evening of Animaniacs music. Live.com, you can see a clip of the way it happened in Denver, and it is bloody amazing. When you get an 80-piece world-class orchestra like the Utah Symphony playing Randy Rogel's music, it will blow your mind. And if you guys build it, we will come. So thank you very much. If you want to let me know that you're doing it, my Twitter handle is at Yakko Pinky, and I will retweet every uh, damn one of them.
is called in moving the story forward. <laughs> Muggle bonds. Well, naturally the school has been searched many times and no such chamber has been found. Hey, Professor, what exactly does legend tell us lies within the chamber? <laughs> The chamber's said to be home to something that only the air of Slytherin alone can control. It's said to be the home of Monster. Harry, Hermione, and Ron, he read their way to the corridor. So, do you think it's true? Do you think there really is a chamber of secrets? <laughs> First of all, if you keep spitting in my face, I'm going to stab you in the eye with a soldering iron. Yeah, hi. Ron, could you tell the Gadigals worried all the teachers Ah.
This line is perfect. Go ahead, Jess. How long? A month. <laughs> a month! But Hermione and Malcolm is the heir of school and they're already going to attack half the muggle boards in the school by then. I know, but it's the only plan we've got. Thank you.